It's your fam. What's good with you? Look, fam. Look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement from your boy. Look, fam. Check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there. Whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling family what's good with you it's your boy 2a in la and as always fam anything i say in this episode prior episodes and future episodes is just my personal opinion don't take it as fact don't take it as law always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions right about now family i should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy if you're new to the channel and want to say welcome come on in you can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications and if you are an existing supporter of this channel man, i appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine you are the reason this channel is anything all right, fam, let's get this episode rolling. So we got a good one today, fam. 2A in LA is bringing you his short barreled rifle slash brace pistol collection. And I've put together a nice little collection. Uh, you guys have seen this typically when I do my uh, beginning of the year gun collection video, but there's been some changes to the collection, so I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of review it. Some have come into the collection, some have gone out. So this is where we are as of July 2024, and I thought I'd kind of go in order in terms of acquisition uh, or entry into the collection. So I'm starting off with your boy's custom AR9. This was a build that I did myself and uh, one of my first builds and I, it still remains one of the favorite guns in my collection. I took a very simple uh, Spikes Tactical Lower and just built the gun out nut to bolts. Uh, obviously, we've got the Ames on there. I've got the Old Light Odin um, and the pressure pad on there. I've got a Daniel Defense grip. We got an upgraded trigger. We got the the folding stock, so you can get it into a nice little compact package. I really designed this gun originally to be kind of the ultimate home defense weapon. Uh, and fam, it does not disappoint. It shoots very, very smooth. Uh, rifle Supply out here in Huntington Beach, California did the paint work, the Cerakote work on the gun. And fam, yeah, your boys custom AR-9 build one of the very first breast pistols in my collection. 
All right, fam, this next gun was on the dream gun list. Your boy Sig Sauer MPXK, outfitted with a cloud defense uh, light and pressure pad that aims on there, an upgraded Geisley trigger. This gun is a phenomenal shooter. We also added that Terran tactical uh, magwell on it, fam. This gun, look, first of all, look how small and compact that package is. So it makes for a great, great um, backpack gun. We also got that rail scale hand stop on it. Look, fam, it's a very smooth, uh, gun. There's little to no uh, recoil. One of the favorite, one of my favorite guns in my collection. I know I say that all the time, but this one, <sighs> this one was right up there. Like when I was looking at uh, like brace pistols, I kind of thought it was SIG, it was BNT, and it was the HK uh, MP5. Um, I, I have not gotten the HK MP5 slash SP5 yet, but was able to snag uh, one of my grill guns in the Sig Sauer MPXK. All right, fam, next up. So this one, fam, I got to admit, I kind of grew to love uh, this company and this firearm. Really, from going to SHOT Show year after year and seeing Maxim Defense, uh, uh, visiting the Maxim Defense booth, talking to the guys there, really seeing the quality of the firearms that they made. Aesthetically, I always thought that they were uh, very pleasing. And I had wanted to get kind of an AR style uh, gun in my collection that shot 7.62 by 3.9, so when this one uh, came my way, I could not pass it up. Of course, we have it outfitted with that EOTech and that Mod Light. And fam, look. <laughs> For such a hard hitting round, it is amazing to me how soft shooting, how soft recoiling this gun is. Yeah, I couldn't be happier uh, with my purchase if you're considering um, a maximum defense gun, particularly the one chambered in 762 uh, by 39, but you're worried because you feel like it's just going to be obnoxious and it's going to kick like a mule, you will be amazed at how soft shooting uh, this gun is. So very, very, very happy to have this one in my collection. All right, fam. So look, if I have a uh, uh, um, an AR style 7.62 by 3.9 in my collection. You know I had to pick up a pistol in a traditional AK uh, uh, format, right? And so look, this is your boy Zestava ZPAP 92. Transformed, it's going through a couple of transitions. I recently did a video on the most recent upgrades I did to this, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you go back and check it out. But Love the way I have mine set up here. I, I got rid of the traditional furniture and added that tactical rail so, so that I could add an angled uh, foregrip. Of course, we put that Streamlight ProTac on there and we've got the pressure pad on there. I recently upgraded from my Holosan that I had on here before to an Aimpoint Pro. And then, of course, I added that JMAC Customs Grip the JMAC Customs arm bar and tail hook. And of course, the rear brace folds, so it turns into a nice little compact package like that. And when you're ready for action, you just pop it out and you're ready to roll. Look, love the Zestava z -Pap. love the way it shoots. Uh, really made it feel like this was a big part in, complete, in completing kind of my short barrel rifle brace pistol collection. And so, yeah, y'all, this is Stava ZPAP 92. All right, fam, this one is a recent addition to the collection. And of course, I'm talking about the Daniel Defense DDM4 PDW chambered in 300 blackout. I recently did an unboxing on this recently as well as a review. And fam, I'm loving it. <laughs> 
people have been loving this gun. I got now three Daniel Defense guns in my collection. The DDM for uh, PDW, uh, the M4A1 uh, full size, uh, AR-15, uh, and I just am loving this gun. Of course, we outfitted it with uh, the Vortex UH-1 and the Micro 3X magnifier. Uh, we also added that Streamlight with the Cloud Defense Mountain pressure pad, the Odin Works uh, pistol brace, and the Hyper Fire trigger fan. This gun runs, run tail. <laughs> Jack, this gun really, really, really runs. I am tickled pink that I was able to bring this into the collection because you really don't see a lot of guns like this out here in California. They are few and far between, hard to come by, happy to have the PDW as a part of my brace pistol collection. Okay, fam, so I told you I had three uh, Daniel Defense guns in my, uh, my collection, the M4A1, uh, the PDW, which we just discussed, and this bad boy right here, uh, the Daniel Defense Mark 18. Look, fam, I was, I had been wanting this gun for a really long time. It's kind of a grail gun uh, for me because of how difficult it is to come by in the state of California. So when I got the opportunity to pick this one up, I jumped all over it. Uh, of course, we've added that hollow sound laser on it. We got the stream light with the cloud defense mount for the pressure pad, the UH-1 on a Unity riser, and that inline magnifier also on a Unity riser. Uh, we outfitted it with a two-stage Timney trigger that is insane. If you guys haven't seen the unboxing and review videos for this one, make sure you go back and check those out. These, that, that is must-see TV. <laughs> Yeah, fam. So very happy to have brought this one into uh, the collection. If I didn't mention it, we also got that old works brace on it. And I just love the way that brace feels and operates. Um, so yeah, fam. Daniel Defense Mark 18. All right, fam. Last but certainly not least is your boy's brand new B&T SPC-10 chambered in 10 millimeter, fam. For a long, long time, I have been wanting a b and T in my collection. I felt it was like the one major brand that I had not conquered. Uh, and But I always was hopeful. I always kept my eyes open. I was just patient. And when I got an opportunity to pick up an SBC-10 chambered in 10 millimeter, it was like perfection for me. So you see we got it hooked up there with that EOTech, uh, with the Unity riser and that inline mount, Unity mount on the back. We got that Streamlight on it. Uh, it's brand new. I'm going to add a couple little small things to it. Going to do a rail stop pressure pad and whatnot. But look, fam, I love, 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 love my BNT SPC-10. I feel like it's the perfect addition to my collection. Now look, fam, there is one more uh, brace pistol that I feel I need to add to the collection just to have it, you know, be perfection. And that is an HK uh SP5 slash MP5. So don't be surprised if you see that one come <laughs> into the collection sometime in the future. But for now, I love uh, the brace pistols that I have. I hope you enjoy taking a look at them all. Till next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.